Welcome back, everybody. You're watching 60 Outdoors. I'm Kyle. Uh, as you can see behind me, I got the B2301. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install the BH70 backhoe on it. So we got to take the three point off, get it all set up and ready to go. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys, uh, like I said, how to put the backhoe on. Get the hoses hooked up and then we'll take it back off real quick and I'll show you guys how to put the hoses all back in order so your loader and everything will work when you take the backhoe off. So hope you guys stick around. So we got the B2301 here. I got it cleaned up. I had a mowing job last weekend and uh, yeah, it, it got pretty dang dirty. So got the power washer out and got it cleaned up. But that's not the topic of discussion here today. We are going to take the three point off here and get the BH70 backhoe put on here. So, I'll show you guys how I do this. So kind of get you guys in here and show you what you got to do. Um, take the three point off here. You got to get these pins out right here on both sides. And I would, it's got bushings right here. These bushings for the three point. I always stick the, the pin back in there so those bushings stay. I've lost one already and had to order a couple more. And then you unpin these here, unpin your your um, upper link here, and then unpin those ones down there and they come right off. So I'll show you guys how I do this. I always start with these ones here, pull those out. There's a washer here that you don't want to lose. Pop those out like that, and those slide out. And then, like I said, always stick your pins back in in the implement you're taking off. Unless you're going to use it on the other implement you're going to, going to use. Take that off like that. Like I said, I stick the pins back in there so I don't lose the bushings. And pop this one off the top here. And repeat the process. So, as you can see, we got the three point off the back of the tractor. So, on these, if you get a backhoe with your tractor, you're going to have to get a, a subframe here as well. And this is what these subframes look like here on these B series tractors. So, it's bolted in right there, and then it goes up and around the axle, as you guys can kind of see there. I mean, there's I don't know how many bolts they got in this thing on these subframes. They're pretty dang strong. But the backhoe has a couple pins that go down into those hooks there. And then you got upper pins here, which I'll show you when we hook it up. And then you got your series of hoses over here that you gotta unhook. You gotta unhook the yellow from the red, at least on this tractor. And I hope most other tractors are the same way. And then you have your blue one up here that you'll plug into the backhoe. 
But just going back to the subframe real quick. Sorry, this is all over the place. It runs from here all the way up. And if you guys see these um, on your loader here and you don't have a backhoe, that's what those are for. And then, of course, my linkage for my belly mower that I don't use anymore. And so here's the backhoe here. Like I said, you got these little... Um, I guess pins that stick out on the backhoe that's built in and then you get those upper links there and then plug in your hoses here so I'll get the tractor lined up here and get this set up and ready. So as you guys can kind of see, sorry it's a little dark in here, but it's kind of a pain to get everything lined up. So you want to get your hook for your subframe lined up with these, these down in here on each side. So you get, you get everything lined up and ready to go. So see if I can get you guys set up in a spot here to where I can show you how to hook up the hoses. So you take your hoses here and unplug it. I always like to grab a chopper egg here in case something leaks or something. Make sure you get them cleaned off because you don't want any contaminants in there. And you take your blue hose, kind of get everything set up and ready to go here. Everything cleaned off. Okay. So you got your red, your red hose here that comes out. And like I said, I'm not sure if every dealer sets this up the same way, but should be pretty close. So you got your red one that comes out here, and you got your blue one that went up here when you're not using it. And then you got your yellow one that comes out of the tractor as well. So you have three hoses that come out of the tractor. So you have your yellow, you have your yellow hose here, and the yellow one from the backhoe. So you unplug that, and like I said, I always make sure everything's cleaned off. And then plug your yellow one into the yellow, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then you take your red one here so then you have your red hose the red marker one comes from the back hoe you plug it into the red one on the tractor these things are just absolutely filthy came unplugged Take your blue one, put the blue under the blue. Pretty simple. Really, so you want to make sure your kind of your hoses are routed so they'll be up out of the way. I think I'm gonna unplug this red one real quick and get it rerouted to a different location. There we go. <clears throat> so simple as simple as that. 
just color coordinated and you plug them back in. The tricky part is make sure you complete the loop when you unhook it. Um, if your tractor is set up the same way, blue goes up here when you're done, unhooked, and then the yellow from the tractor routes back up through and plugs into the red one. And that will complete your, your hydraulic circuit so the have a continuous flow of hydraulic fluid so your loader will work on that. So the next step would be is to fire up the tractor. And if you're on concrete with these, I always like to use these, um, I guess they're four by six blocks here to have the downrigger sit on, that way you're not scraping up your concrete. So we'll go ahead and start the tractor here. Go the right way, ding dong. So it seems like those, those blocks work pretty well. And when I'm storing the backhoe, this is how I store it. I put it on, on blocks like this and then set it over here in the corner. It seems like it works works pretty well. I haven't had it fall down yet. down, so you're going to want to lift, lift up the backhoe to get it up and over those hooks. Just push down on the down a bit too far. Touch it. Just like that. And I always like to do that. And then you pull your blocks out. Tilt the back over forward just a little bit. Like that. And then turn back up. It takes a little bit of um, finagling, I guess is the word you could use, to try and get those pins down in there. But basically, you're just trying to operate the downriggers and the, the boom kind of up and down so you can get it. And once you get those hooks down into the 
it pins down on the hooks and push up on the on the boom so it moves this up into here and then you take the pins like this Stick them in to this pin, that uh, hole right there. There you go. And you can raise up your down riggers. Just like that. That one falls out. That one falls out. And pull your boom up. Bring it in. Through the bucket. Pull this back. And the backhoe is officially hooked up to the tractor. As you can probably figure out, I got the trailer out. I got it cleaned up and washed along with the tractor here. Um, I'm gonna go in and grab a bite to eat. I got some pizza waiting for me and I'll be right back to show you guys how to take this off. All right, I'll talk to you. Alrighty, I am back from eating a little bit of dinner. Had some pizza, some DiGiorno pizza so it was pretty good stuffed crust not too shabby well <clears throat> before we run out of daylight here I want to show you guys uh, we got the back hole put on but I just want to show you guys just real quick how to take it off and how to hook up the hoses and stuff so oh uh, yeah hope you guys stick around and I hope this will um, hopefully help you if you have a new tractor with a BH70 back hole on it and for some reason the dealer didn't show you how to properly unhook and hook up the backhoe. Alrighty, let's get to it. So again, it's basically a reverse of what you normally, like you would do when you hook a backup. So, but I just want to go ahead and show you guys this. I'll get it the first time. Okay. So I got the blocks underneath there, like that. I'm going to move this out. So you want to push, take your lever here and push down on it and take a little bit of, see how that kind of kicked out there? Take a little bit of pressure off of the, um, the pins here. Let me get my gloves on real quick. So you like I said, you take that, push that down, take the pressure off of these pins right here. And then you pull these pins out. So, like that. And then you take this, take your lever here, and then you want to kind of ease it back down. You gotta go the right way here. So, that'd be your, I guess your left boomstick. Like see I'm, what I'm doing here, like that, pushing that forward. 
your back, I guess it is. And that will pull those back out. Yeah, be careful because it is touchy. And then take your downriggers, push them down, and your back will come down. Hands like that. And then you can either pull forward or unhook the hoses like that if you want to. But I usually just I pull forward just a little bit. Enough to where I get a little bit of room. Shut the tractor off. And then you can uh, unhook your hoses here. Just take this. And I always like to get a rag. In case you get some hydraulic oil leaking. A little bit. Then you have your yellow one here. Take your yellow one off. Off again. So you're gonna leave your yellow one out, the one that comes from the tractor. So take this one, the one that, sorry coming from the tractor. So you take the yellow one that's coming from the tractor, get it unhooked, and then the red one, you unhook this. So you're gonna have a little bit of hydraulic fluid leaking, just a little bit of residual stuff coming out. You unhook the red one. Okay, now here's the kicker. Here's the most important part right here. So you take the yellow one that's attached to the tractor. You take your blue one, sorry. A little confusing. Take your blue one, set it up here in the pin. Pinhole there. Pinhole. It's not a pinhole. The clamp here. Take your blue one. Make sure you put your cap on there so it doesn't get dirty. Then take your yellow one. <clears throat> that comes from the tractor and connect it back up to the red one. And this completes your hydraulic circuit here that, to help to make sure that the fluid keeps circulating through the tractor and it will make, help make your, will make your loader and everything else function like it should. Yeah, so then <clears throat> now you're all unhooked. You got all your hoses there and everything done. You can drive away from the backhoe. Your hydraulic circuit is complete. And you could put your three-point linkage back on. Attach your box blade or whatever you gotta put on the back and go to work. Now then if you're storing it for long periods of time, I like to use those blocks um, that I showed you guys. See me pulling out earlier there. And I set the backhoe down onto those blocks underneath there. And then I like to raise up the, the downriggers here. And then I use a strap to keep them up, you know, especially if it's going to be sitting for a long time, like over the winter and stuff, and I'm not going to use it. Because I put uh, the back blade on the back here for the winter and uh, the snow pusher that I got back over there. So... Well, I hope this helped you guys. If you guys are a new tractor owner um, of a B2301 or a B2601 and you have the BH70 backhoe here and um, either you forgot how to unhook it or and put everything back together or your dealer didn't show you when they dropped it off how to do it. It is in the manual um, what hoses you got to have hooked up on that. So... Um, and then hopefully they're color color coded the, the same way. They may not be, but the biggest thing is just making sure that you complete that circuit when you unhook the tractor, you know, or the backhoe from the tractor. That way um, your hydraulic functions functions will work properly. Yeah, so I hope that helped everybody <clears throat> that has these uh, B2301s and B2601s tractors that have a BH70 backhoe on them. 
um, how to hook up and unhook the backhoe properly there with the hoses and everything there. Make sure you get your hydraulic circuit completed there. So, and then if you're here searching um, on how to do this, I would be honored if you guys subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Um, I have several videos out now, I think 12 or 13 right around there of the tractor. Um, a couple other different things of, you know, um, me fishing for sturgeon, that type of deal, if you guys are into that. So, like I said, this channel is um, about outdoor stuff and what I'm doing outdoors. It's mainly of the tractor, but um, <clears throat> I like to film and kind of do some other things as well, too. So, hope you guys find interest in a lot of that. And if you're here um, searching for, you know, tractor information and stuff, a couple other channels you might want to go check out is <clears throat> John Ritter at a Ritter Bit Will Do. He has a BX, I think it's a BX23, I believe, 23S. Um, it has a backhoe and belly mowing and all that stuff on it. Uh, another great channel with a, a B2601 is My Clutter Garage, uh, Ed. He has an awesome channel. He does some lives as well on Monday nights at um, 7 p.m. Central Time, I believe, on that. Uh, another one who has a similar tractor, B2601, is M MJA Doing Stuff, Mitch, uh, has a great channel as well. And then another one with a similar tractor, another B2601, is David at uh, My Pale Horse Outdoors. Sorry for the traffic around here, it's just, it's crazy. Anytime you go, to, anytime you try and film something, it seems like it's rush hour for some reason here. So, but yeah, if you didn't catch that last one, David at uh, Pale Horse Outdoors, he has a B2601 as well. Great channel to go check out. And then as you guys search around, you'll find some other great channels as well. But those are some of the main ones that are really great channels that. Um, have good content, have a lot of good information on them if you're searching around, if, you have, if you're a new tractor owner um, of these B-Series or BXs or, or whatever. So, yeah, hope you guys check those guys out. Well, it's uh, getting pretty late here right now. It's, it's 6.30 up here in eastern Washington. Um, I got to get the tractor loaded up still and evidently got to get the backhoe <laughs> reattached here as well. And get the like I said, get the tractor loaded up on the trailer and get everything ready to go for tomorrow to head over to the ranch. So, like I said, I have some videos of taking the B2301 over to the ranch, doing some um, projects over there and stuff. And uh, there's going to be some more videos coming as well of uh, us doing stuff at the ranch there. So, and here too. So. Alrighty, well, I appreciate you guys sticking around. I hope that this helped um, anybody who has is a new tractor owner of these B-Series tractors has a backhoe on it uh, when you're uh, hooking and unhooking the backhoe here so alrighty well like I said I gotta get this stuff wrapped up before it gets dark and get everything loaded up so I appreciate you guys sticking around and I hope this helped anybody who has these B-Series tractors with a backhoe and until next time you guys take care and all the best